Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, you'll get to discover which interior design style suits you. I'll go through the different style variations and explain the elements that make up their aesthetic. So without further ado, let's begin! Decorating and interior designing are not just about how your room or home looks. It is more than just showing off a beautiful aesthetic visual of your home. It is also a reflection of your personality and how you want your home to make you feel when you walk through that door. Interior design is very personal and really needs to work for the people who live in the space. I'm sure many would prefer a design that can improve their mood and evoke positive feelings when they come home. So out of these 7 interior design styles, which one screams you? Let's find out together! The first interior design style in our list would be traditional. Due to traditional design being inspired largely by 18th to 19th century England and Europe, you'll see a lot of regal influence in our furniture. The furniture is heavy and a bit ornate, like clawfoot tubs, tufted upholstery, and carved wood. Another popular furniture style is swing back. This is a chair with a high back, wooden legs, and wing sides. Though you'll often see it pop up in mid-century design, it actually originated from traditional design. Modern interior design refers to a sleek, uncluttered style that began in the late 19th century. In its purest form, modernism reflects a fuss-free approach to life. As a result, designers kept decor minimal while emphasizing industrial materials. In addition, patterns are also few and far between. Modern interior design focuses on block colors, which include primary hues like red, green, and blue. Real modernism has simplicity in every aspect of its design. The third design in our list would be contemporary design. Fundamentally, a contemporary style of decorating is defined by simplicity, subtle sophistication, deliberate use of texture, and clean lines. Interiors tend to showcase space rather than things. By focusing on color, space, and shape, contemporary interiors are sleek and fresh. Generous use of metal, stone, and opaque or clear glass works well in a room decorated in a contemporary style. To soften and warm up space, use heavily textured fabrics in plain colors for window treatments, pillows, or rugs. Next would be the minimalist style. Minimalism is about keeping a space simple, uncluttered, and accentuating the attractive architectural features of a space. The palette is mostly monochromatic and color is used as an accent. A minimalist design space incorporates an open floor plan, lots of light, and simple line furnishings that are well-built and comfortable. Everything in a minimalist home should be functional and add value to the space. All these create a soothing and inviting atmosphere that has a timeless aesthetic. The fifth style on our list would be the mid-century modern style. Mid-century modern homes have a breezy and seamless flow. They've always encouraged indoor-outdoor living. For this reason, sliding doors and picture windows are left bare to emphasize the connection to nature. Mid-century modern uses both natural materials like wood and plastic in its purest form. Color ranges are vast and diversified, from neutrals to graphic hues of black and white and even bolder neon tones. At the same time, the choices made by the interior design company aim to ensure functionality and practicality. This way, mid-century modern brings together a stunning visual appeal and a bit of Scandinavian minimalism. This brings us to our next style, which is the Scandinavian style. Scandinavian is a design movement characterized by focusing on functionalism and simplicity. It also includes the use of natural materials such as leather, wood, and hemp. Furthermore, the Scandinavian interior design is often influenced by connection to nature, which combines natural shapes, abstraction, and the use of natural elements. And the last design style would be the industrial design. It takes cues from old factories and industrial spaces that in recent years have been converted to lofts and other living spaces. Components of industrial style include weathered wood, building systems, exposed brick, industrial lighting fixtures, and concrete. 
These elements help give the space a raw and unfinished look. Usage of materials usually concealed in a traditional home such as exposed pipes and ducts, timber roof trusses, and steel columns are a few of the main displays in this type of design. To achieve an industrial feel, a natural color palette is most commonly used. A mix of grays, neutrals, and rustic colors can be seen in these spaces. These simple colors allow for the use of furniture and other accessories to help liven up the room. This design is also highly suitable for open concept homes such as lofts as the neutral colored walls enables the space to feel bigger and more connected. And those are the 7 basic design styles we'll be covering today. You don't have to follow all the elements in each style strictly. In fact, it would be even better if you could combine some of these styles together. A few popular combinations would be the minimalist Scandinavian style, modern contemporary style, and you can even incorporate a few minimalist elements in your industrial home if you prefer a brighter and spacious looking space rather than the rustic ambience of a normal industrial home. You can experiment and unleash your creativity through your home decor. So which of these design styles did you like? Do comment down below to let us know and tell us what else would you like to learn next. Do subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified when we'll post our next lesson. Thank you for watching! Bye!